Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. This area might look a little bit different, but that is because prior to this episode I did a live stream organizing all of our storage and I must say I am happy with it. If you were wondering, we're using these glowing glass item frames from Quark, which basically disappears when you put an item into them, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, everything has pretty much been organized in a pretty good and nice and neat fashion. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we don't ask. We don't ask questions about that. And also these chests are now much more organized and spacious. Now, we did two other things as well in that stream. One, we created an entire new room that way and something that you might already have spotted. It's in this frame. If, if, you were if you were curious. Anyways, we made a brand new room here and we are going to call this the ore vault. The vault for vault ores. You know what? We're gonna go with it. <laughs> but yeah, this is basically going to be a room where we store all of our ores and when an ore has been turned into a gem, it can be put into a barrel that will be next to the stack. Totally not inspired by Iskel's ore room. Definitely not. I don't know what you're talking about. You may though have spotted this chocolate box at the end of this wall and this basically just holds the other ores that I didn't get space for. I basically just need to continue this, uh, yeah, down that way. But for now, I am really happy with this result. Oh boy. More statues for the cauldron. 80%. Not bad. Now for those of you who have keen eyes, you may have spotted that. And that is right, we did go ahead and mine for some vault rock ores and we succeeded. We got five, so now it's time to loot these up using fortune four, four? No, yeah, wait, yes, four. Fortune four, and let's see how many we actually get. Ooh, 14, you know what? I'm happy with that. That will keep us going for a little while. I'm gonna put them right in here. Nice. And speaking of crystals and rocks and whatnot, there is one item that I want to craft and that is the catalyst decryption table. I think this is going to be very useful because in the last episode we were using vault catalysts and you know how I went into the anvil, added a crystal and then the catalyst to see what the random modifiers were. Well, yeah. This decryption table is going to really make that job easy. So I think we just go ahead and get that crafted right up. I will need one perfect Laramar and one perfect Benyotite. Quite annoyingly, I will also be needing a lectern. And there we go, catalyst decryption table. Whoa! Now what I can do is I can take these catalysts out and I can put the shulker box back where it belongs and I can basically add the catalyst to this table. Now, it doesn't look like that anything has happened because nothing has happened. We need to add a finished vault crystal to the table before we actually see the full effect. So, without any further ado, let's check out the first recipe of the day. Uh, actually, that's quite easy. It may not look easy, but we should have, okay. That was actually close. I only have one nether star. This crystal is expensive. <laughs> Yikes. And it does appear that I need to go ahead and grab some more rotten flesh. And this chest is pretty, uh, pretty full, but I'll get to that in just a moment. First, let's fly over to this farm. Grab, you know what? Let's grab a bunch of things here. I'll need it. Fly back. And there we go. So now that we have this vault crystal, I can add it in here and boom, we can see everything that we get from these different catalysts. Extended, not bad, not bad at all. And I can leave the crystal in there as well, but I don't think I want to do that. I don't really fancy any of these because yeah, they're not that great. I'm gonna use the crystal either for something else or as a standalone. Now that we're at it though, hmm. Hmm, yeah, not too bad. Looks like I need more rotten flesh. Which one of you? Yep, cakes. And yes, I did buy a fifth cake. More on that later. Looks like I will fly again. I really want to reset my thing for the dash. It's so slow now. <laughs> it's pain, but there we go. And now if we put this in here, ooh, gilded, giant, giant. 
That doesn't sound half bad. Makes mobs in the vault giants. Okay, that does sound bad. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> yeah, they, I'm. Hmm. I'm gonna keep it though because that is gilded. I might want to do that. Now, before we continue, I have a knowledge star, and I'm going to use said knowledge star right now. Boom. Now, what am I going to use that knowledge point for? Well, let me tell you my grand plan. At least I think it's grand. It might be the worst plan ever, but we are going to find out. <laughs> I am going to take drawers. It only costs one and I need them because I have things like cobblestone, stone, lime, etc, etc. That kind of just fills out the chest. Like if I just were to remove all the glass, we would get a ton of space. So if I removed all that, Boom, have a chest empty. And I can do that with drawers. So that's why I just took drawers. But here is the rest of my plan. If I keep taking these, the test army, ferret lights and more lights, that will decrease the price in total by three, if I take all of these three, by everything outside of the decoration box. This means that a mod like power would go to one and applied energistics would also go to one. Of course, as soon as I take power, I'm going to increase the price in applied energistics, but that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Also, if we go down into processing, mechanism would go down to seven and thermal expansion would go down to five. By that time, five knowledge stars hopefully won't be that hard to get. So that's my plan anyway, but now that I have drawers, I might as well make some. So one oak drawer holds 32 stacks per drawer and I can make a one by two, which would be, hmm, yeah, each each recipe uses two type gems. So I obviously, I obviously want to hold as many stacks per po uh, per drawer as possible or per type of block per po as possible. I Wow, I butchered that. I want to be able to hold as many items of one type of block as possible. So 32 stacks per drawer when it comes to stone and cobblestone, for example, will be great. So I think I should start off by making some of these. I can always move things around. So my plan is to kind of just remove this farm and make this entire wall into a drawer wall. I think that would be pretty cool. And then temporarily the farmer chest is gonna go right over here. Gonna install a new floor, of course. And then I'm gonna fill out this space, but I will take back this uh, deep slate tiles because it's expensive. <laughs> and I wanna use it probably elsewhere. Oh, hello outside world. Goodbye outside world. All right, good enough if you ask me. Now for the next bit, I need, well, the drawers. So I need eight of these drawers, which means I need 16 Benyotite. And for that, I'm gonna shrink this pile quite a bit. Choose vein miner and let's hope for the best. 22. Uh, that's not even double per ore. <laughs> Well, it should be enough to do what I want to do next, which is craft a bunch of chests. There we go. Eight oak drawers. Boom. Next, I want to make eight one by twos, which I am definitely not having the locks for. Um, let's sleep and fly and chop. Of course, I will need more Benyotite. I just went ahead and chopped spruce logs when I actually needed oak. I'm smart. And there we go. I think I need this many. I made one too much now. Oh well, I'll be using it for something else. That's for sure. All right, I do want to go ahead and make these as well, but I'm going to... Well, I can make as many as I can, which is one apparently. Correction, three. Boom, boom, boom. So that is how the wall is going to look. I'm quite happy with this. A bit expensive, but worth it. Because this means I will now be able to take all of the glass and put it, let's put that in there. I can take all the cobblestone. I know I'll get a bunch of that so I can put it in there. All the stone, put that in there. And that is already a huge improvement, but I can also go ahead and take dirt, 
sand and gravel as well and put it into here. And that has cleared up the chests very nicely. I can of course use it for items as well. So I can use it for bone meal, well not bone meal, but bones and arrows and gunpowder, etc. So yeah, for now, pretty good start. Oh, I know exactly what I'm using this one for. A bit expensive, but I'm going to use it for upgrade uh, template because then I can make a draw key, which I can then use to make a quantify key as long as I have a book and quill. Book, king sack, feather, book and quill, quantify key. Which means I can go ahead and show exactly how much I have of each item. Love it. But I think that is enough draw work for now. Though I'm not quite done crafting because there is one more thing that I want to do and that is to get the vault pack. So it's okay cheap. It's not too bad. And it's basically a pickaxe, axe and shovel all in one. Only downside is it cannot get mending, but we should be all right on that front. So if I just get a bunch of books here, such as Silk Touch, Efficiency 5 and Unbreaking 3, using a lot of Benyotite this time around and boom, Vault Paxel. I will also need more bottles of enchanting. And we can go ahead and enchant this. Unbreaking 3, Efficiency 5 and Silk Touch. Boom. This is just going to be very nice in the vaults because instead of having to bring all these three tools, I can just bring the set down here. Lovely. But I think with that, we are ready to run our first vault of the day. Now that I've said that, I know that we're not quite ready because I want to put Unbreaking 3 on my Vendar. Vendar? Vendar? Totem? I don't know. Anyway, I want to put Unbreaking on it. And I think that is everything that I need from that chest. I'm breaking three, boom. And I made these layered limestone in my stream, but turns out I couldn't use them for what I wanted to. So now they're just building blocks, which is fine, I guess. Also have this box here and I do need to go ahead and make a few health potions here or healing potions because I'm running a little bit short. So yeah, I'll see you after crafting some potions. Seriously? Oh, seriously? That was an expensive renaming. <laughs> Better. Now, I have two possibilities here. I can make a cake vault if I wanted to, which basically is a bit of a challenge where you hop into the vault and you need to complete it by eating cakes. I'm a bit scared because I don't know what happens if you don't get all the cakes. I do believe you can get exit the portal if you believe that you can't complete the mission. So there's that possibility or I can use this catalyst modifier right here, which is gilded and giant. Gilded, of course, sounds amazing. Giants. Eh. I'm gonna do this one first. We will do the cake vault next. Boom. And I think that that is everything that I need. I just quickly wanna check the soul shard trading. We only have 122 shards. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, we, we're not quite there yet, but it's gonna be cool when we, when we are. All right, here we go. Gilded and giant. Oh boy, just a bit scary, but uh, here we go. <laughs> I forgot my power bars. <laughs> Whoa, okay, they were not kidding with the giant. Okay, hold on, hold on here, hold on. Yikes, that's not fair in any shape or form. Okay, can I please leave? Giant creepers, what is this? <laughs> okay. I don't think I want to run the the boss of this one. Um, also, the the axe is doing some damage, but but yeah, the boss. Oh dear, that can't be fun. But it's gilded though, so I don't think I want to do the boss anyway. I want to focus on looting. I think just gotta be careful of trapped chests near possible TNT. Yes, that could go very very wrong. Just gonna take it nice and easy, slow and steady, wins the race, you, goodbye. I have my elytra on, are you kidding me? I forgot to change to my chest plate, that's, that would be why I'm taking more damage than usual. That would explain it, okay. 
Hmm, not good. Especially not if an explosion happens. Eh. That's a problem. Eh. Whoa! Hello. Hmm. Whoa! Hmm. That's a slight problem. Ooh. You hit hard. Not fair. Ow. Oh. Uh, nope. Nope. Go away. Go away. Ow. Yeah, Elytra's really not good for vault hunting. Did you know that? <laughs> it's actually not too bad though. They're giant, but it's okay. They're not harder to kill as such, so I'm happy about that. I don't think I've been in this room before. 15 minutes remaining. Not bad at all. Ow. Okay. That's not cool. That's not cool. Aha. Uh -huh. That should be easy. Or not. Seriously? No one? Five down, three to go. Enchanted stone sword? Yikes. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. I like it. Ninja zombie, huh? Whoa. That was a big explosion. <laughs> and I get poisoned right after. Of course I do. <sighs> okay. That, that jump scared me a little bit. I am not a fan of these rooms. Even the chicken is big. <gasps> I don't know how rare that is, but it looks valuable. Oh, Iskel, hi. Glad to be you here. Goodbye. Please don't. No, no. XP levels? Are you kidding me? Ooh, cake. Uh, yeah, no, I don't have the levels for that, unfortunately. Three minutes left. I think I should start to head back. Ooh. Okay, definitely worth checking back the behind these. <laughs> this place is starting to be a little bit crowded, but I do kind of want to farm this last minute. Just get a bunch of these shards, soul shards here. I'm thinking might as well get some XP as well, you know. Okay. 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 <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Mission, however, successful. We got a lot of good stuff. As in, a lot of good stuff. Actually, a lot of, lot of good stuff. And we get to use our ore room. Larimar and Pay Knight. Vault scrap. Wutex shards and six more vault diamonds. We can... Uh, I don't know if we have... Okay, I think we have enough star essence to actually make another knowledge star. Even more flasks of regret, which is not what I need. I need a choice flask for dash. I got an unidentified scrappy plus. And plus 2% parry. So parry, I believe, is a chance that an attack doesn't do damage. Eh, uh, not that great. I much rather have my plus three percent cooldown reduction. Who's the packs? Nothing. Mystery boxes. Uh, not that great either. Okay, loot sorted and vault run very successful. Now, cake. Specifically, Cake Hunt. I think it is time that we do a vault that is not the usual either fight the boss or loot and then bail, but that actually has this objective, which is Cake Hunt. But before we go, how about I switch my light for my chest plate? I think that's probably a good idea. I also have two unspent skill points, which uh, I would love to upgrade speed, so I could save up for that, or I could get well fit, which I think I am. Um, because, yeah, two extra hearts, it's a big deal. All right, here goes. First, cake hunt. Actually, hold on. Yeah, that's better. All right, here goes. <sighs> Let's do this. Easy, oh, wow, it's an easy and gilded. And it's a cake hunt as well. I gotta find 20 cakes. 25 cakes, oh dear. Okay, um, I have never done one of these before. This should pop up a hint. 
eventually. Um, oh, that's not fun. That should pop up a hint eventually. That's that's that is that's the first one. And easy has been added, and so I believe we continue down here. So it has become. I do believe they stack easy upon easy and then also gilded. Wow, um, we might get a lot of loot from this. But of course, I only have one minute per cake, kinda. So I gotta try and do this fast. Distance to cake 43 meters. Some cakes, of course, will be easy. Some cakes will be difficult, like this one, probably hiding in plain sight. I forgot building blocks. This is not ideal. 15 meters. Am I just like blind or something? That is, found it. Okay, it had another level of easy. Wow. All right, please let's go to the next room. I do not like that room. All right, let's hurry. Okay, cake, cake, cake. I will be looking for the cake, but I also do want to quickly spend a little bit of time looting because it is, after all, gilded. Got it. Okay, dokey. Cake, 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 cake. Aha, gotcha. Four out of 25. I'm not feeling super confident here. However, I am distracting myself a little bit with the gilded chests. These rooms as well, where there's multiple levels the cake could be on, doesn't make it easier. We're probably not gonna finish this, but we are going to try our best. The way home, at least, is easy. 42 meters, so it's probably, probably on a tree, honestly, up here somewhere. 14 meters, found it. Sneaky, oh, are you kidding me? Leave me alone. Got it, okay. <sighs> Five out of 25. As soon as I have the time left, I do gotta be careful, cause I gotta be able to get back in time. I already see it. Easy one. Gilded, even an another level of gilded. Wow, another cake. We're racing through this now. Oh, unlucky, of course. 18 minutes left. Oh, it's one of these rooms. Uh huh. Right. I might sacrifice the completion of the cake for this, <laughs> because this is a lot of gilded chests. I just need to find three purple, which that really shouldn't be that hard to get, and the cake really shouldn't be that hard to find either. Look at all the gilded chests already! This room is huge. I don't care if I spend the rest of the time here. It's worth it. Blue. Come on, I need purples. I need purples. Look at this room! I don't think I've ever had a better room, honestly, with the amount of chests that's here. Pink, purple, that's one. There's of course no guarantee that I'll get purple in these, but it should be doable. And I just found the cake as well. Munch, munch. Another pink. 12 minutes remaining. I'm cutting it a bit close. Oh, hi. I'm cutting the time really close. <laughs> I don't like it. Doesn't help that I keep messing up. At eight minutes, I'm leaving. I've checked all those. Yep. Hmm. Yellow, I thought that was it. I've checked all of these almost, the majority anyway. The ceiling is the last option remaining. Blue. <gasps> yes! Eh. Got it. Got it. Yay, no fall damage. All right, give me blocks so I can get back up. Okay, we're gonna get this loot and then we are getting out of here. No. Are you kidding me? Not now. Get rid of this, get rid of that. Clear the inventory. Dressing out here. Okay. Get rid of that. Take these. Boom, boom, boom. Press the button. Vein miner. Vein miner all this up. You guys are not welcome. Not now. Really not now, Creeper. Keep going. Okay. Hooey. Worth it, though. Most definitely worth it. Did any of it fall down? Looks good. Okay. We're getting out of here. Actually, I think I might have time for one more room. 
Let's check out one more. We'll make it speedy. Because it is, after all, a gilded vault. Yep, most definitely worth it. All right. I don't want to risk anything. We're heading home. We got eight cakes, though. That's not bad at all. And there we go. Yeah, you know what? We're just gonna go. <laughs> we have so much good loot. Whew. Mission successful. Really successful, actually. We didn't complete the cake quest, but we got a lot of loot. And I think that was worth it. In fact, we got a lot of loot. <laughs> oh, wow. Guess I could start from the beginning. All right, now to the exciting stuff. We got some traders here, storage upgrades. That's not bad at all. Storage upgrade three as well. Hearty apples, mystery boxes, and star essence. All of these are actually really good. Yep, storage upgrades. That's great because getting those storage upgrades costs, uh, well, considering it's a compressed block of gold and then wood to die gem, yeah, that's, that's expensive. <laughs> and style sense, of course, can't go wrong with that. Oak leaves, snow block, metaphoric mesa stone, and smooth stone. I like it all. More statues to the cauldron, 86%. Bunch of red light booster packs. Nothing. And mystery boxes. The only good thing I think I saw was power bar and some style sense. And then, of course, we have some unidentified stuff. We got two Vault Axe, both Scrappy Plus, so let's see what we get. Maybe we will get an upgrade to our current one. Okay, one is blue and one is gray. Let's check out the gray one first. So, it is Scrappy, two repair slots, and 30 level requirements. So, that's basically the one that we have. Just, yeah, me. This one has one level and four repairs. Let's compare with our current one. So our current one is scrappy, two repair slots and one level slot. And this has four repair slots. Also, the damage is higher and one levels as well. So that's pretty good. Hmm. While this axe is great for killing undead, maybe we should have one with sharpness. It would only require maybe, yeah, four Wu-Tex shards in order to get this upgraded to our current level. This solar one can go into the scrappy chest. Uh huh. Because I, w I would like an axe for like, with sharpness to deal with spiders and stuff like that, because this one really doesn't do that well with those. But then again, I could just use my sword for that. But this also has a level. Hmm. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Should I make an un- Dead killer axe and a everything else killer axe. Let me know your thoughts on that down below in the comments. I'm gonna save it right there. I'm also going to take three stacks of bottles of enchanting, put it in here, because sometimes when you see those XP uh, challenges things, then yeah, it's nice to have. And this pack scroll is honestly really, really fancy. I love it. So I was thinking of maybe making some knowledge stars, but we're exactly one volt diamond short of making a volt diamond block. Annoying. Hmm. Uh-huh. Yep. Yep. Uh, seriously? Since when would I want a hard modifier? <laughs> well, well, it's a good thing I have these. <laughs> and this, and these. I have a slight feeling that this is a waste of Benio Titan Laramar, but... Oh. Okay then. Hmm. Why? Easy, 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 why? I don't, I don't, I don't even think I, I don't even think I have Chorus Fruit. <sighs> I've popped Chorus Fruit, which is not what I need. Huh, I must say I wasn't prepared to go into the end today. That's not too far. Here we are. I must say it has been a while since I was last here. Yeet. And of course I didn't bring an ender pearl. Too bad. For one of these guys. Mm-hmm. This should suffice. Done. Super lucky and fast, so it's going to be a, a less time, I think. Yes, minus two minutes and 30 seconds, but I think that's worth it, though. Plus three luck levels. Yep, I'm gonna run it. I know this episode is already a little bit lengthy, 
most likely anyway. But I think I'll be able to do this fairly quickly. Super lucky and fast. What is this? Why am I seeing? Okay, this is interesting. I think this vault actually, as you can see, there's no obelisk down in the corner. And that is because instead, if I wanted to complete the vault, like I would normally with the boss, oh dear, this time I have to get those different items. So creeper eyes, creeper foot and blood vials from zombies, I think. I'm not sure. Not a great start. Oh, look at that. Easy farm. <laughs> Ooh, yes. How? Uh huh. One of these rooms. So I figured out how the scavenger thing works. So you collect all the things and then you put it in these scavenger chests. Quite interesting. What I really want to find is some sort of village room or a stronghold. That would be really ideal. I also definitely want to kill these guys because they could drop me vault diamonds. Yes, a vault diamond. Okay, I'm so glad I went back for him. <laughs> okay, we are good. The main thing that I came after I have now gotten. That's good. Another vault diamond. Sweet. All right. Less than two minutes remaining. I think I'm happy. Told you it would be a quick run. And overall, actually not too bad. I'll organize everything later, but I do want to highlight that we got a quite a bit of Babyotite ore, some repair cores, Wutex shards, and vault plating, which is not too bad at all. We also got a trader, which we can go ahead and plug in. Not bad. Three mystery boxes. Nothing too crazy though. And nothing. Statue generating snow blocks. That's useful. And an unidentified vault totem, which is scrappy and slowness immunity. Interesting, but doesn't beat what I already have. Now for the crafting, because we are now able to make two vault diamond blocks, which means, I hope anyway, that we can go ahead and make two knowledge stars. Potentially. Well, we can make one. <laughs> we don't exactly have enough star shards nor enough star essence to be able to continue. Oh well. We of course also need some perfect Larimar. Yeah, decent. Enough for a star core and finally a knowledge star. However, I'm not going to use it until we actually have three of these, which would result in us having all three of the decoration, the remaining decorating items here. So all in this episode, I would say pretty good success. So guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. And if you do, do consider hitting that subscribe button and enabling those notifications. But with that, that's it for me for this one. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful, wonderful day and... Goodbye.